Hi, I'm Joey, and today I'm going to show you one of the techniques for wrapping your hands. Hey, one of the easiest ways to start is to, is to make some padding to cover your knuckles. When we're wrapping your hands, the uh, most important things to, to cover are your knuckles and obviously protecting your wrists. So we just fold it over a few times. When we're folding it, we're roughly getting the, the width of our knuckles. So I'll just show you on my left hand. Once you fold it over a couple of times, then fold it again, just to double it up so we can get it exactly across our wrists. From there then, take one or two wraps around that bit of padding just to hold it in place, like so. And then from there then, we're just working down towards our wrist. Again, one or two around your wrist. Be careful not to make it too tight, you don't want to cut off the, the blood there. From there then we're coming across the top of the palm and through our fingers, like so. As soon as you've gone through your fingers, try not to go back down and cover the palm of your hand. Take it to the side and always work in the padding over the top of the hand. From around then, back over the top, through the next set of fingers, again round to the side and back down and we're just repeating the technique. So we've gone through every set of fingers. From there then, once or twice around our knuckles, tidy it up. From there again, working over the top of the hand, back towards our wrist, once around the thumb, around the outside of our thumb, and then pulling it in. And then finishing up a couple of times around our wrist, making it as secure as you want. we finished with your velcro on your wrist. The easiest way to check then is make sure you palm your hands free. It's all tight and secure. Tighter angle, demonstrating on somebody else's hand. So as we started last time, we'll take the, the wrap and we'll fold it over a couple of times. As so, the reason we're making these creases at this length is so they're going to sit across the knuckles of the hand that we're wrapping, like so. Doesn't matter if they're a little bit over, again, just looking to pad the knuckles out. What we do then, we fold it over just to double that up. So when we lay it on the hand, it sits across the knuckles like so. So we just hold that in place there, and again, start to work the padding around that hand. Turn a few straps around there just to hold that particular bit of padding in place so we can make sure it's seated directly across the knuckles. From there then, we'll work down towards the wrist. Once we support the wrist, we're going over the top of our hand, through the fingers, to the side, and then back down over the top of our hand. So we're going in the motion under the wrist, over the top of the hand, and then out to the side. So we'll repeat this process until we've gone through every pair of fingers. As so. When we finish there then, once or twice around the knuckles, again for extra support, tighten things up from there, working back towards the wrist. From the wrist, it's always a good idea to put one round the thumb. Keep them tucked in. So we're going to from under the thumb and then back in, pulling tension on the thumb there. Again, supporting the knuckles with what's left, then we'll work towards the wrist. Securing the base of the wrist, providing support there. And so we're ready to lay down the strap and make him nice and secure. He just clenches his, his fist there then, just to make sure it's all tight and secure. If the hand turns over, you can see from underneath we haven't crossed the palm of the hand at all, so if he does clench his fist from that angle, it's a bit nice and tight to secure too.